If we care about the children, how about constructing gender in a way that doesn't result in record depression, suicide, anxiety, isolation, and unhappiness, regardless of lopping off your tits? Today's question of the day, by the way, for those watching on YouTube and who've, who've hit the notification bell, are you receiving notifications? We need to know about half the people who've done so have been complaining that they haven't been receiving them. You guys have been getting these tweets, so uh, please let us know, comment below. And today's rebuttal comes to us from the borderline child abusers uh, and the four million subscribers teaching children the concept of gender at the YouTube channel Cut. Let's get to it. What's like a uh, stereotype of a, of a boy? Hey dude, man! What's ah. up? It's not to meet ya! Ow! Damn, I cool. It stays this obnoxious, I'm sorry, but we'll have some very valuable information for you. So an immediate theme you'll notice with this video is the open and negative stereotyping of the male gender. Mm -hmm. While at simultaneously trying to be inclusive to non-existent genders, it's important. He didn't say, hey, how should a man behave? It was, what would be a negative stereotype of a male? I need your name, <laughs> your gender identity, and your preferred pronouns. What? I don't know what the last two are. Don't worry, no one does, <laughs> as you'll see later in the video. Next clip. Riley, do you know what gender is? Uh, something you identify with. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to answer this so that you? I don't get into trouble at home for hate speech. <laughs> see, uh, you're in the ballpark. Yeah, that's an answer no six-year-old gives <laughs> unless they were coached by an angry pansexual lesbian mother, and they still she still can't get it right for fear of the Afro-lesbian <laughs> pansexual beating her. I like to think I understand a little bit of it. You don't. <laughs> Do you know what makes a boy a boy and what makes a girl a girl? I don't know. What are boy things? Mm, strong, fearless. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> so clearly that doesn't work. Couple of things. The boy in his innocent states what a boy wants to be, <laughs> right? And maybe what we as a society would want men to be strong, fearless. She said, let me squash, let me swat that down with the anecdotal in arm wrestling a five year old. <laughs> Could you imagine if this had occurred with a child who had created some painting or was trying to expand his creative realm and a parent just said, that's stupid, get it out of here. A kid's like, I want to be strong. I'm I'm gonna arm wrestle you, and she feels proud of it. <laughs> so that doesn't, so that doesn't Add work. Add that to my highlight reel. I, I beat you at five. Really, mom? How about I give it a shot? At, at 15. Can we see a gender difference at that point? You wanna know the real biological differences in gender? Um, let's line up 100 males within the average reference range, okay? Within 100 miles here of this lady, and have mommy arm wrestle them. <laughs> By the way, rule, I should have clarified, none of them can be five years old. Next clip. What does it mean to be a boy? You act annoying and rude. <laughs> I, like a boy. I hate myself. Too. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Disturbed. Mm. Hmm. Twerking. I wonder where this child could have possibly learned that girls should twerk, mom. But uh, let's all laugh at the negative traits of men, right? Yes. They're rude and angry. Well, what if we said, what does it mean to be a girl? And she said, you act submissive and agreeable? How would they react? I can tell you exactly how they do that, how they would react, because when Jordan Peterson cites just that, scientifically, people lose their minds and call him a figurehead of the alt-right. Out of context, mind you, to the point where they actually have to re-release the interview because it was so misleading. Let's go to the next clip. They used to think that the only favorite colors girls could have was pink and purple. No. But I've never had pink as my favorite color. Right. No, no, mom. No, mom, not, not right. A thing. No one ever assumed or forced girls to like only pink or purple colors. That was never a thing into having one preferred color. Instead of, instead of, this just goes to show you that this video, and we'll get to more statistical realities here that are really striking and what's dangerous about this. A lot of people go, why are you just talking about the Iran deal? This is the corrosion of Western civilization right here. When we start targeting children and teaching them scientific, biological, observable falsehoods in the name of political correctness. That's when you know society's jumped the shark. And the mom here, instead of saying, right, because it's not right, should have, she should have screamed to that child, straw man, no, no sweetheart, that's incorrect. I want you to agree with mommy and everything, but I want you to agree with mommy understanding the facts. We never actually had any kind of systemically instituted uh, preferred colors for your gender. That, that wasn't a thing. <laughs> 
Next clip. On your body, oh. what do you have that I don't have? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is that? I can't say it! Cleaner, junk cleaner. Yeah! Woo! Ah! Congratulations, five-year-old yeah. boy who's been openly mocked in this video. You provided the only correct answer thus far. Yeah! <laughs> that was a bad idea. Because it went out my nose. <coughs> Don't drink champagne straight from the bottle. By the way, we'll keep it on. spoiler alert, that's the only correct answer for the entirety of the video. Next clip. So, if a person with a wiener says, hey, I'm a girl. What is that person? A girl. A boy. A female. <laughs> Behold, gender identity. <laughs> that older boy's face is priceless right there. Like, behold, gender identity, as though it's a thing. It's like, yeah. behold, my bullshit. <laughs> right away, like, mom, this doesn't make any sense. And the mom laughs as though she's teaching her children nuance. That's what this whole no. video is about, right? But the thing is, they're just trying to unteach your children scientifically observable biology in favor of a social agenda. Yeah. As we said, remember when they said that they weren't coming for your kids? Yeah. They're here. Key grip gear. <laughs> that, I mean, that's the that's the moment he realized his mom was an idiot. That <laughs> moment. <laughs> I suspected. I I didn't think you were unintelligent, but I I thought you might be a bit of a bitch when you arm wrestled my five year old brother to embarrass him on the <laughs> national broadcast. Now I just think I'm, you're also a fundamentally unintelligent. Not because you're a woman. Just, just because you're you. Next clip. When did you find out if I was a boy or a girl? Um, maybe 15 minutes after you were born. That seems reasonable. But, oh no. As I'm learning, that was just the sex you were born. Uh, that doesn't mean that's uh, the gender you're going to. I am not be. a boy. How do you know? Uh, and this I is just, not. This isn't a trick question. I just know. You just know. You shouldn't have Bigot. to think about it twice. No, but what if, Looking like, dad, society is telling you you can't, if I was always just, you can't be a girl, you can't be a girl your whole life, you think you would be like, oh. I would say, mommy, <laughs> I'm going to stay at your house. Oh, oh, mommy's house. I see there are two Christmas, two Christmases in that family there. Who does <laughs> I, which makes sense because at first I thought this was going to be the gay dad. Yeah, but now he's plot like, twist. I, plot twist. <laughs> divorce. Just a prick. Did he yeah, say? Who, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, what were you gonna say, not Kate Jerry? These are the, the, the funny thing is, these are the same people who will be losing their minds when you tell your kid, tell, tell people you take your kids to church. I it's know. Like, that's the, you are indoctrinating. How them. dare you indoctrinate? What them? the. F is this? I know. <laughs> well, here's the thing. First off, a couple clarifications. Gender actually isn't assigned at birth. It's recognized by medical professionals, doctors. Because contrary to how a child feels in the hair dye aisle, uh, 15 <laughs> years down the line, okay, with mommy, doctors actually need to identify the sex slash gender to determine immediate care and treatment. For example, boys have higher mortality rates during the first year due to a weaker immune system. They need more care and they cost more money. And the example that this father loosely... <laughs> This beta male uses the exact opposite, by the way. This is a reverse analogy. He's like, He's what if I were saying you can't be a girl? You can't be a girl. When the fact is, it's biology telling them, sorry, but you're not a boy. <laughs> it's the opposite of what the dad is saying. And, of course, again, two Christmases, which stands to reason. Next clip. When I was little, people used to call me tomboy. And that didn't really fit because it wasn't something that I called myself. Like, I felt like a little boy when I was little. Hmm. And then when, when I was... 12, and I found out that I was supposed to be a, a girl and that girl meant certain things. It was kind of scary to me because it was a box that I wasn't ready to be put into. No, no I one. I can imagine that. No, no, no one put you into a box. You have one. Um, now, here's the thing. How did you <laughs> feel like a boy? This is where it starts to unravel. I felt like I was a boy. Were you rude and annoying? Because that's the only example we've had of men here. Remember, what would you think of rude and annoying, thinking they're cool, aggressive, violent? We've only heard negative male stereotypes. And then she said, I felt as though I was a boy. How so? How did you feel as though you were a boy? And then you said society tried to force me into the box of being a woman. Do you mean that society tried to force you to be what? What would be the antonym to rude and annoying? Antonym, for those who don't know, it's the opposite of a synonym. Could it be polite? Excellent. Cordial? So you mean society is forcing you to be polite and cordial, which would be considered feminine qualities? I don't understand this. Then again, science. Next clip. What if you forgot if you were a boy or a girl? There are people who don't really identify as a boy or a girl. Oh, no. 
they're in that middle space. Five year old Dave. Uh, yes, yes. Confused. They're in that. <laughs> <laughs> they're in that middle space. Oh, oh, I know this one, Mom. Do you mean like the intersex people who only make up, I think, about 0.018 percent of the population? And many people with today's progressives called intersex. Actually, they have conditions. They really aren't confused about their gender at all, at all. But they actually have predominantly male or female characteristics, and they end up living under one gender or another entirely guilt free and without biological complication. Is that what you, is that what we're going with this, Mom? Are you talking about intersex? The very extreme and small example. Oh no, next clip. People should call you your actual gender. They, them, she, her, he, him, or none. Okay. Hmm. First she, off, she's woke. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, the two girls, or none. If. Really? Two young children who refuse to acknowledge biology and now claim that they have no gender, okay? Who just so happen to have a blue haired lesbian looking androgynous mother. What are the chances? <laughs> Kids, you rolled the dice and that came up snake eyes. That came up bullshit snake eyes. <laughs> That came up fake blue contact lens snake eyes to match the lesbian hairdo. What are the chances? As you'll see, it's actually not just happenstance because we've got some more statistics. Next clip. This is really myself. I identify as trans non-binary. So the okay. surgery that I'm going to have, all of this is going to be gone. How do you feel about that? Mm, that you're a psychopath? <laughs> Perhaps, mom? But she, she gives an answer, and I, I actually really do appreciate the, the, the earnest answer that follows. Still, I still have mixed feelings still about that. Still mixed feelings. A little bit scary? A lot scary. Yeah. yeah. What's scary about it? Namely, lopping off your tits. <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Namely, that you're going to be... I mean, there are lots. There's a lot, Mother. But <laughs> chief amongst them is that you will be chopping off your tits. <laughs> there are many reasons. The complications... Uh, the 41% attempted suicide rate that doesn't get any better when you have the surgery again where you're chopping off your tits. And considering that American slaves and those in internment camps never actually had the average populist suicide rates that were that high can, compared to the transgender community, I'm, 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 actually, I'm actually a little fearful mother that my mother might be mentally unstable. Bi biologically, I mean, a chemical thing. Also, you know, the lopping off your tits. I don't want to gloss over that. <laughs> Did you ever want me to be non-binary? When you were little, yes. I just wanted yes. you to be who you are without having to choose. Because when I grew up, there was just boy and girl. How many genders are there? Infinity? <laughs> what? Is this Four confusing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Very. I love it I was like, is this confusing? Yes. I have no answers. That's, that's by design. That's the, this is the point. No one has ever been able to answer when they say, listen, misgendering someone, this is a big thing on campus, it's an act of violence. Well, how many, how many pronouns are there? No one can answer the question. No. This is a video, by the way, designed to both ask and answer questions. Please go watch it in its full context. I think we pretty much ran the entire video. It doesn't answer any of them because they don't know the answers. They can't even play by their own rules. And something here that's really important, and this is why this matters. When I say it's actually the, it will be the downfall of Western civilization. Notice anything in this video? Um, amongst all of the, what you say, non-binary, trans, black, lesbian, I don't even know what you fit that into. No. You're not trying to identify with anything at that point other than a psychopath. Um, not a single positive rail mobile model. Got the all, entire all beta males. And anything else, by the way? They exclusively cycled through negative male stereotypes. So what if instead of the negative male stereotypes, they actually went through there. If he said, hey, listen, sweetheart, what do you think would be the ideal? How should a man act? And then maybe the girl goes, oh, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe a man should be uh, kind and loving, but firm and protective and able to provide, but also able to lead when need be and also understand when to submit to them. I don't know. That's a good question, dad. And I... I wonder, I think you fulfill a lot of those qualities. What if they did that instead? And what if, when this, this girl disrespected him, I mean, I'm gonna go to mommy's house, dad, you don't know anything, right? What if instead of him just going, <laughs> I guess I take it, I take it along with the alimony. What if when his girl disrespected him there on a national broadcast, what if the one man in there said, hey, hey, whoa, hey, sweetheart, watch your mouth. Don't talk to dad that way. That's not how you speak to adults. That's not respectful. And instead started teaching her how she should deal with authority, taught her how a, people should interact sociologically, and then how women should act, and then how men should treat women the proper way. What if, instead of all of the things they did, they did all of that instead? And by the way, what are the chances, anything else you notice, what are the chances that these kids outpace the average as far as gender non-binary kids by like 100%? 100%. <laughs>
<laughs> the odds are very favorable. And something I don't understand, and, and hopefully we get someone to know we had a, a dropout tomorrow for a long-form debate. If gender is a societal construct, as this, which, which is the presupposition of this entire video, gender is a societal construct, how about, if we're going to acknowledge that, and we're going to say, please, do, I have to get rid of this hat, please do it for the children, Right? Please, let's, just, let's do this. It's a societal construct. Let's, well, let's care about the children. Let's create videos like this cut. Okay, if we care about the children, how about constructing gender in a way that doesn't result in record depression, suicide, anxiety, isolation, and unhappiness, regardless of lopping off your tits? Chief amongst them, reasons for you being unhappy that you cut off your tits, mother. If we're going to say it's a societal construct, and we know beyond any shadow of a doubt, statistically, that the transgender community, both pre-op and post-op, have record rates of depression, suicide, anxiety. Why don't we construct something if we're, because we're teaching our kids something anyway, as you're trying to do here. If we're going to teach them something, how about teaching them a way of life that we know leads to not only better health for themselves, but for the rest of their families. If you like the video, subscribe, watch one of these other videos, or hit the notification bell. Well, you should hit that if you subscribe anyways, because subscriptions don't mean anything on YouTube anymore. Now you have to hit notifications so that it shows up in your inbox, so I don't know why you subscribe in the first place, but that's what you have to do. Also, we're not making money off these videos anymore, because YouTube decided why. They, they just said we're not going to, and when we said why, they didn't tell us why exactly. Imagine if you showed up to your job, you did all your work, and then they said, hey, by the way, we're not going to pay you. You said why? They said, piss off!